Yes, my name is Jure Mabamba. Well, born in the Democratic Republic of Congo, raised in South Africa, live in the US Minnesota. Many people have no idea where Minnesota is. <laughs> I think it's best you don't. It's cold and it's very cold. <laughs> <laughs> so um, I live here, I work here as well at the University of Minnesota. I work as a professional development officer. So to small, to put it, it's essentially in simple terms, I am a fund, a professional fundraiser. <laughs> nice. Or a professional person that asks people for money. <laughs> <laughs> so everybody hide your wallet. Uh, <laughs> you're okay, you're okay. When I'm not working, I'm at home with my kids. I am with my kids running around, changing diapers, playing with dolls and sometimes soccer. Well, I play soccer with them, but they are too young to compete. I don't think even if they grow up, they'll be able to compete. <laughs> Life is so, it's not as complicated as we make it. So if you, not happy, if you're not positive, and if you're not enjoying your life, that's your choice. Mm -hmm. No one would do it for you. Mm -hmm. You don't want to hope and wish for you to get certain things, for you to achieve certain things in order to be happy. That's a lot of time wasted that you'll never get back. Mm. Why not be happy right now with what you have? With who you are with and just be happy yeah so for me i just try to be happy enjoy life right now enjoy the now it's not beside i might have hopes and dreams and things to achieve i cannot wait for it in order to enjoy my life right now yeah so i try to just be happy enjoy life enjoy what i have enjoy my family enjoy my friends be positive because the positive you are, the happy you are, the healthier you are. So I really don't want to live in the future. Mm. I want to live the now. Yeah. And now I breed. <laughs> now I eat. Now I'm alive. So many reasons to be happy for. But, uh, happiness is a daily, deci a daily decision. Uh, you decide to be happy. And like you mentioned, no one can do it for you. And that's, uh, that's uh, something that I know that you've mastered uh, because yes. uh, every time that I talk to you, I get a smile because you are smiling, you are funny. And yes. that's yes. um, uh, I'm and happy. So Sorry? I said, I'm happy. I'm happy. You've got to be happy. Yeah. You've got to enjoy you, what you're doing. Mm -hmm. I enjoy it. I might have a bad moment, some disappointment, but it's just the moment of disappointment. Don't let that little moment ruin your entire day. If you let it, you made that choice. Yeah. It's on you. Yes, a bad moment upset you. A bad interaction made you upset. It's okay to be sad for a little bit. Mm -hmm. At some point, you're going to move on. So it's okay to live the present and, of course, have hopes and dreams for the future and live the now to get you there. But dwelling and thinking and hoping and hoping and hoping with no action, you end up living in someone else's future. <laughs> well, I will have not been able to get to where I am if it wasn't for the many people that have reached out to me along the way. So to your question, why I like to serve, why I like to help, I look back and say, how will my story be if this individual did not help me? Very different story. I ask myself the question. Now I, have, I am equipped. I have some resources. I have some connections. I have some people I know that I can use all those connections and the resources I have to help somebody else that 
does not have the resources. And hopefully what I have and do for them who make their life better, just like they once did to me. Yeah. And then something that I've been asking to successful people, people like you, if you notice one of the um, a character that they have, they like to help people. And uh, usually big servers, big uh, people who really want to help others, those are the people that you will hear that's uh, really successful in life. And uh, that's why I believe by helping people, that's one of the best and fast way you can reach your goals or your dream um, because you're impacting somebody else and uh, really believe into what you give will come back. So one, you want to have your goal. Um, uh, definitely important. Two, you want to write it down. Um, uh, three, you want to take action, uh, write the action step. And finally, and uh, one of the most important, so you don't waste your time, find the people who have been there so they can help you. Uh, that's yeah. really powerful. I think uh, a lot of what a lot of people forget to do is the last one. Um, uh, I've been talking to some people and they really take pride of, I want to do it by myself. I want to learn and fail by myself. And uh, I, I, I like to say that. And that's something that I learned from Steve Harvey. He always says, if your dream, you can achieve it by yourself. Like you mentioned, you're not scratching your true potential. There is no dream or goal that you would like to accomplish that is actually um, uh, defining you that you will be able to do by yourself. That, that's why, why I like to ask this question because I believe also it's different from people to people. Um, a lot of people associate happiness and success as a destination. But as you mentioned, it's more like the process, the journey that you're going through. Yes, if, you are, if you are happy with uh, where you are, uh, where you've been, obviously you don't want to forget where you come from and see where you are in terms of the person that you are, the people that you have around you or the person that you're becoming, that's successful. Um, that's being successful as well for me. Um, yes. and, uh, I do appreciate that because uh, my definition or one of the definition of uh, success for me is also how many people are living a better life because of me, because I just don't want to have it just my eyes on me. I want to also see how I can impact other people. Tell us, share with me, why are you doing this? Why are you doing the videos and, and collecting all this information, inspirational stuff? I'm like, what motivated you to, to pursue this? Yeah. There is two uh, answer to your question or two part. Um, um, why I'm doing this? Uh, because I've been talking to some people and I've been amazed uh, in terms of uh, the change that they said that they've seen in me, in terms of the person I was and the person I am today. And those come from the books I've been reading, the people I've been associating, and the daily choices I've been uh, uh, taking. And um, that's something um, um, that I truly believe if every single one of us really think about, okay, how can I become that best version of myself so I can attract the right people and I can attract the right um, action or goals that I want in life? we will be 1% better than we are yesterday. Success or happiness doesn't um, lies in your comfort zone. You have to push and be outside of it. And that's, that's why true. I was like, okay, uh, it's time now. I want to be able to impact other people. I want to be able to give the chance to people to be able to think like me and think how they can achieve their dreams and their goals. So what about creating something that is, uh, accessible and they can learn and uh, get other people who I believe are more successful than me so they can share their knowledge and share how to see life, how to go after their dreams or their goals. Um, so uh, um, um, in the word and possible, there is possible. So whatever you want to do, uh, just put your mind to it and go for it because I believe you can attest to it in your, because I know your story, but uh, when I was back home, if somebody told me I would be here living the life that I'm living, I'll definitely say to that person that they were lying. And uh, I didn't come here just to come here because I believe in giving back to the community. I came here to make sure that I get the resources, I get those connections, because as you mentioned, there's so many people I believe like me who are just one opportunity away uh, to be people that will be remembered. And they're all back there and they're just um, uh, just waiting or just what is lacking is that opportunity or that hand to make sure that, okay, they can actually go to that next level and be that person that they need to be. 
So for people like me or people who would like to make sure that they impact our countries or our continent, it's don't forget where you come from. Well, to all who are watching, my message to you is pretty simple. Look around you. What do you have? Who are you with? And just appreciate it. Take a moment and to just appreciate it and be glad you have what you have. You're with who you have. And just be happy with where you are. Don't dwell in the past. Don't spend time living a future that is not there yet. Enjoy the present. Be happy. Enjoy the one meal a day you have, the three meal a day you have, the four meal a day you have, the friends you go to the beach, the friends you run with, family who call, the friends will call. Just be happy with them because there are so many people that do not have what you have. There are so many people that do not get a call, do not have a meal, do not have a place to stay, do not have a place to call home. I'm glad you're listening. I hope you take action. Mm -hmm. Take action. You have a dream. Take action. Don't dwell with your potential. <coughs> Sorry. Is that COVID? <laughs> <laughs> I think it's COVID. <laughs> Is your temperature high? Check your temperature. Check your temperature. I'm good. Okay. That's a very good way to look at it. Yes. I'll steal that. <laughs> Thank you. Don't don't forget it's copyrighted, so you have to uh, <laughs> <laughs> because I look at that shirt, I'm like, man, I, I <laughs> that's that's incredible. <laughs> Big guns. <laughs> All right, on the serious note, serious notes. So I'm you're young, handsome looking guy, very strong, muscular, very <laughs> highly intelligent individual. <laughs>